Hello to today's session on orthopedic implants. So today we will be covering screws. When you look at all these orthopedic screws, these implants, you they all look the same. So let's see whether we can make any sense of what these screws are, how they are used and what makes them each different. Each screw consists of a head, a shaft and the threads. The threads of each type of screw will be different depending upon the function of the screw which also makes a difference in the name. There is however a main difference between these two screws which both look alike. That is the size of the head. If, as you can see there is a hexagonal thread here, head here and that hexagonal head fits into a hexagonal screwdriver which allows you to turn the screw. On the other hand, you got this screw which has also got a hexagonal head but this will not go inside because the size is different. So from these, you can understand that there are two different sizes for the screw. The two main sizes that we are using in orthopedics are the 4.5 system and the 3.5 system. So there are two different sizes, the 4.5 and the 3.5 systems. Let us see what is the difference between this screw and this screw. Both of them are of the same size. Both of them here are from the 3.5 system. But there is a small difference in the threads. If you look carefully, you can see that the threads of this screw are very broad and come out a large amount from the shaft. And this one are very short and very small threads. So which do you think gives a better purchase on the bone? Definitely it is this one. So, it is this screw that is called the cancellous screw and this one is called the cortical screw. If the bone is strong and it is of good quality, you use the cortical screw that is for the outer cortex of the bone. But if your bone is of weaker strength and you are using the uh, screw inside the cancellous part of the bone or the spongy part of the bone, you can use this one which is called as the cancellous screw. The cortical screw cannot be inserted into the bone just like that. You have to use an instrument called the tap or the internal thread cutter to cut the threads for this so that this screw can go easily inside. This screw is inserted without a tap because the usually the bone is very weak. So this is the cortical screw used for strong bones and used with a tap and here is the cancellous screw with very broad very big threads which gives a good purchase and that is used for cancellous bone or very weak bones. Now you know about the cancellous screws let us go to the different types of cancellous screws. This is the usual type of cancellous screws but here you have got something called as the partially threaded cancellous screws. So you can see that the head is just like this one but the thread is also just like this one and the shaft is totally without threads. So this is the sort of cancellous screw that is used to give compression to the bone. That is this side catches the opposite side of the bone and when you turn it that part is pulled inside and this head gives the counter force so that two pieces of bone can be pressed together. So this is the ordinary cancellous screw and this is called the partially threaded cancellous screw. In the partially threaded cancellous screw there is another type here which looks almost like this maybe a little bigger but there is one huge difference. If I take the guide wire and put it inside you can see that the guide wire goes through the whole shaft of the cancellous screw and comes out through the other side and this is called the cannulated cancellous screw. The cannulated cancellous screw is used in special applications. That is, if you want to know where the screw is going even before you put inside the screw, the first thing that you do is you put in this guide wire into the bone. Once this guide wire is introduced, then you use a special drill to drill this area through the bone and you are satisfied with the position. And the final step is putting in the screw which is inserted like this. So once the screw is inserted, the guide wire is taken out. 
This is called the cannulated screw system. Here is another type of screw which is very similar to the cortical screw. You can see that the threads of the screw are even more thinner than the threads of the cortical screw. Why is that? If you look carefully, you will see that the head has got threads. Whereas the head of this particular screw does not have any threads. What is the use of these threads? This is a special type of screw called as the locking screw. The locking screw is used in a special type of plate called the locking plate. Let us see what is the difference between these two screws. Let us see what happens when this screw is inserted into the corresponding hole of this special type of plate. You can see that this screw is easily mobile. But instead of that, let us screw put this screw through one of the special holes which is called the locking hole and screw it in with the screwdriver. Once it is screwed in, you can see that the threads which we saw on the screw are engaging with the plate and therefore you will not get any movement inside the screw. So you can see that this is very firm and it gives a good purchase. The threads of the screw lock with the threads inside the plate to give a very stable construct. On the other hand, you look at the ordinary screw, it is moving about. So definitely this screw will have a better hold onto the bone. This screw is the screw that we described earlier. It is made of steel. But on the other sides, you can two, see two screws and both of them are of a different color. The color is a special property of the metal titanium. If the patient is affordable or you want an excellent quality implant with good strength and good quality, you can use titanium implants. So this color is because this is due to titanium and the steel screws will come without any particular color. You got a silver coloring on this. Titanium screws can come in almost any color or they can come in a dull silver coating also. So if you see a screw which has got a particular color like green or blue or even yellow or reddish color, you can know that this is a screw made of titanium. This is the titanium screw that we saw. It is an ordinary cortical screw and here you have got another screw. Let us look at the threads of these screws in detail. You can see that this is the cortical screw which is giving a minimum amount of purchase and on this side you have got a thread which is barely sticking out of the screw. What is the difference between these two screws? This screw is used for fixation of the plates but this screw is not even called a screw. This is called an interlocking bolt. So the interlocking bolt does not have any function to prevent pull out. That is if this screw is put inside you expect this screw to hold onto the bone and it will not be pulled out. But such a stress will never come on an interlocking bolt because it is just put through the interlocking nail and to cause a locking and it is very rare to have a force that pulls out the screw. So the threads are simply to help the screw to be inserted through the interlocking nail. So this is an interlocking bolt. Here we have got three different types of screws. We have already understood the differences between the shaft and their nomenclature but now we are going to look at the tip of the screws. If you look at the tip of this screw, you can see that the tip is round. This is the usual type of screw head. This round screw cannot be inserted directly. You have to make a hole using a drill bit and then only you can insert the screw. On the other hand, if you take this one, you can see that it is trocar tipped. This sort of screw theoretically can be drilled inside without producing a hole. So this is a trocar tip and therefore this type of screw, screw is called self drilling screw. In addition to the self drilling mechanism, you can add one more mechanism that is this one and you can see that there is a flute that has been cut out into the screw. So this is the flute. 
you can see a cut between the threads here and you can see it here also and here also so this is called as a self tapping screw theoretically these screws can be inserted inside without using a tap that is without cutting the threads inside the bone so here you have got two types of screws that is a self drilling screw and a self tapping screw now that you have seen the different types of screws let us do a simple method of compare and contrast to study study these screws so these two screws look similar for the head and for the shaft but the threads are different so this is a cortical screw and this is a cancellous screw this is also a cancellous screw but it is only partially threaded some of the threads are taken away so this provides compression this screw is also similar to the cancellous but it has got threads on the head of the screw so this is called a locking screw and finally you got another screw that is looking exactly like a partially threaded screw but you can insert your guide wire through it so this is a cantilevered screw and to finish it off you have got this type of screw which is colored and that is because it is made of titanium thank you for attending this class and i hope that this makes the understanding of your orthopedic implants a little better so see till next time this is myself signing off hope you will join me for the next class